I have a fun video for you today. It's all about car organization. I don't know anybody who wouldn't benefit from improved car organization. Definitely stay tuned to the end because at the end, I have a couple safety items for your car that'll be really helpful and I kind of compare two different options. So let's get started. The first item I have for you is my rear cargo liner floor mat that I have for my car and it's been a lifesaver. As you can tell, I have two furry dogs. Those are our two Huskies, they're 10 years old. We take them hiking all over the place and they can be a mess. And this thing has saved my mat. My mat looks meticulous underneath this. And this floor mat that sits on top of it protects it. I can easily pull it out hose it off, let it dry and pop it back in and it's good as new. I highly recommend getting this type of trunk or floor mat for your vehicle. And um, there's, I'll include a link in the description. You should be able to search for your car by model and see if you can get something similar. What an excellent investment for under $50. Okay, my next item is a car trunk or back area, back seat organizer. It's collapsible, it has multiple compartments, and it has a, adjustable straps that you can use to try to, you can um, hook it in to kind of tie it down. But this is so versatile, it's a great product, it's made nice, and I find that it's really helpful in keeping things organized in the back of my car. I like to use it in um, when it's halfway collapsed, so it only has one section. I find that's all I need, but then I do have times where if maybe I have groceries I don't want to tip over, I'll expand it and make it full size, and I just love it. Or if I'm traveling, I can also make it larger. So this is really helpful and will fit in just about any car. It has a ton of pockets and compartments and um, is nice and handy, so definitely take a peek at that. And as you know, I have two Huskies, so I definitely have a lint roller. Um, we also like to keep paper towels in the car, um, especially for hiking in case there's, you know, there's a mess. We've got wipes. We've got a blanket if we want a picnic. We've got a safety kit. By the way, stay tuned to the end, and I'll tell you more about these safety kits. And um, you can just see there's a ton of room in this thing, so nice to have. Are you like me and do you always have a large water bottle with you or a large coffee cup and it doesn't seem to fit inside the drink holders in your car? If you do, I've got a good solution for you. I'm actually lucky because my husband custom made me a 3D printed um, holder for my water in one of my cars, but I know not everybody has access to that. So I brought you two options today for you to take a peek at. The first one I really like, my daughter-in-law gave me one. She got a two pack and gave me the second one and I really like it. It's very versatile. It's held up really nicely, doesn't break. It holds my water bottle solid, but then when I want to drink out of it, it comes out nice. So I really like this one. You can see how easy it is to install and my cup is nice and secure. It doesn't tip over when I make a turn and I can easily pull it out when I want to drink it. So I really like this option. Now let's look at the second option. Okay, so here's the second one. They look similar. The bottom is different. The other one is adjustable. This one you just push in and it just tightens up and that's what holds the actual cup holder inside. And you'll notice that it's definitely not as large because my cup didn't fit as well, but it still works. So I pushed this one in and then it's, it's installed and it's pretty solid. And then my cup fits in there. So, but a cup much larger than mine would not fit. It is a little bit harder to get in and out, but it is solid and I would not feel um, concerned about it tipping over when I was driving, but here's the nice part. It actually gives you this little side, I call it a sidecar, but it's just, it's technically called a storage tray, 
but um, you can put different things here. You can put your phone here, your sunglasses, your snack if you're on a long drive, whatever you want to put in here, and it's nice and handy. So that's why I thought this was a worthy second option to the first one, and uh, you can pick which one makes sense for you if you're looking for this type of solution for your car, but it is definitely handy to have that easy access to anything that's important to you. Let me know in the comments if you like either option and if you do choose to move forward with one. I'd love to know why. I have a couple pretty inexpensive items here that have um, great function when you're inside your car. Have you ever had your sunglasses um, get loose and wish you had a screwdriver or your driving glasses, glasses you need to be able to see? And um, I've had where one of the screws fell out of my sunglasses and I had no way of fixing them and it was really bright outside. So I love having a little set of screwdrivers in my um, console that I'm able to just pull out and use and put my glasses back together or even better tighten them before the screw falls out in the first place so this is really handy there's four different bits in this little kit and um, I think that any sun, any pair of glasses you should be able to fix with these and it also comes with the two keychains that you can give to someone else or put on your own keychain that have a couple of it has a small Phillips and a small straight edge that you can be able to use um, to fix anything you need. But I find this to be super handy. Now, keeping with the topic of glasses, have you ever started driving and your glasses are so dirty you can't see out of them or you smudge them? Having these little wipes handy in, in your console, easy to grab, are so great. These are so nice because they're, they're, they're really soft. They're safe for any um, sort of lenses or screens, but they're not too wet so that you're able to just use this one cloth and that's all you need. And it is so handy to have. Um, I highly recommend it. Now it does come in a fairly large box. So I just keep some of it. I share it with friends and family, but it definitely comes with in a very large box. Um, so you'll have lots to enjoy and use. Now, yes, I do have two Huskies and you may think that's why I have these bags, but it's not. I actually keep these bags in my car because I use them for trash. They are the handiest little things to have. I open one up, I'll put trash in them, and then I just store it um, in my door in a little compartment. And when I get out or I get, go to get gas, I just pull it out and I empty it out and reuse the bag. Or if it's messy, I'll throw it away and use another one. But I find having this tiny roll of dog bags so handy inside my car and I never have to have a mess. There's always somewhere to put trash when I have it. So that's a quick little tip for you. Okay, here's a couple quick items. This comes in a two pack and I found two really good uses for these. The first one was I used this holder for um, disposable masks. So we've all been wearing masks and you know, it's up to everyone how much longer they'll be wearing masks or when we might have to start again. But what a nice way of being able to store them and keep them out of the way, but yet handy. And they just pop right out of here. It's really nice. And then the second use for this second one that comes in the pack is the obvious thing, which are tissues. And it's super handy. And again, it's kept out of the way because it's up on your visor, but yet it's within reach and handy when you do need it. So I really like these two items. Okay, so I felt it was time to look at phone holders again for cars. 
and I found this one that was highly reviewed and I gave it a try. It is nice because it's magnetic and a lot of our phones are magnetic now and there's an option if your phone's not magnetic, but it installed super easy on my vent in several places and um, it tilts different directions and my phone, um, I'm able, I have a, um, I have a, it has a magnet in it. I think if it's iPhone 11 and above, and I'm not sure about other phone models and manufacturers, but if it has a magnet, it works. I found an old case and it comes with all sorts of little magnets that you can put on the back of the phone or you can put in a case. So I found an old case, put it on my phone and put it up on the phone holder and it worked great. It just attached, it's super solid. And I like that you can just grab it and go. You just, you don't have to adjust it. You don't have to play with any settings. You just grab it and go and be on your merry way. So I think this is a very nice one and it's versatile. It should work with any phone because it has the magnets that you can attach to the case or the back of the phone. I don't know about you, but I'm always looking for somewhere to put my purse or my backpack and not have it just flying around the back seat of my car. So I looked into it and I found these holders that go on the back of your headrests. So um, they're very versatile. You can use them in different ways. And um, I've tried them out. So here's a peek at me trying these out. I did only have one hand available, so it was a little bit of a challenge that it's actually super easy just to pop right on. It has a rubber um, piece inside there, so it uh, tucks on nicely onto the headrest. It's very solid, it's not gonna fall off. And then you can just easily put, I put my backpack on here, you can put your purse on there, you can hang grocery bags. I think, I forget what the weight limit is, but it can hold a lot, they're very sturdy. And then if somebody's sitting in the back seat, you can actually turn it around and you'll see that I'm able to put my phone on there and uh, it'll hold a, a wide range of phone sizes. So this is pretty handy and it, again, super inexpensive. You can put two on one headrest or you can put one on each side, but here you can easily put a phone and somebody can sit and watch um, different videos. So I like these, these are, these are really helpful and handy. It never fails. Someone's going to need to charge some sort of device when we're even just driving around town or if we're on a long trip. We've used AC adapters for when we go on trips and they're generally really loud, but they've been so helpful because it reaches to the back of the car. So if the kids were on a long trip and the kids want to keep their gaming devices going or their phones charged, it's been super handy to have those. But this one is so nice. It's really compact. You could put in two standard plugs or you can put in four USB and it tucks nicely into my console, which I love, so I can always have it in there. I don't have to remember to, to grab it. And um, it's easy to plug into a power port or old style lighter, if what, um, whatever you have in your car, you turn it on. Again, it's super quiet. You wouldn't even know that it's on. It's so quiet. And um, you know, people in the back of the car can easily plug their um, USB cables in and they could be watching their phones and nobody's having any issues with devices. So I love it. It tucks in nicely, like I mentioned, and this is definitely a keeper for me. Okay, here's some safety items for your car. I've got two options so that you have a good idea of what you can get for your money. I think both these options are great. You can see compared to one gallon um, bottle size, how large they are. Now the small one is definitely packed with lots of great safety items and I will quickly pull a lot of them out. But you, what you'll find in here is you'll find gloves, you'll find some uh, reflective um, triangle thing you can put together and a small toolbox with various tools in there. Um, you know, hammer, screwdrivers, there's a, a tape measure, some PVC tape, and um, they all seem okay quality. I think they're pretty good and, and, you know, definitely if you need them in a pinch, I think they'd work out really well. Um, a cutting device, and then uh, jumper cables, which we all should have, a small safety, um, a first aid type kit, 
that is in there and it has a compass, it has a whistle and a few other items, some fuses, a poncho, an ice scraper, tie wraps, bungee cords, a safety vest, a, a little light, and you can also um, uh, pump it by hand if your battery dies. Uh, a safety thing for breaking glass or cutting a seat belt. So there's just so many things in here. And, 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 you know, when you look at them, it all makes sense to have those in the car, but a lot of us don't have these type of things in our cars. So it's just a great kit. It has a lot of items in there that can be used in case, you know, somebody breaks down or is in a situation where they need them. So I think this is a great small set to have in your car. Please hit the like button if you find this video helpful. It helps my channel. Okay, now here's a larger um, safety kit and um, you could see earlier how it compared to the smaller one. It has jumper cables, some gloves. It has a, a glass breaking tool and a seatbelt cutter. It has a small compressor to um, pump up a flat. It has a plug kit for a flat. It also has a safety kind of cone you can put together. It has some bungee cords. It also has a headlamp that um, it does have batteries, um, a tire gauge, some tape, some tie wraps. So some, a lot of similar things to the small one. It has a very heavy duty um, set of tie downs. It has um, a link to a manual. It has um, a tool, it's like a multi-tool that has different things on there that, that would become in handy. Also a first aid kit. It has obvious first aid items, you know, a little pair of scissors, there's gauze and some band-aids and different things. And then the headlamp has batteries that work. I put them in to test it to make sure it did work. And, um, you know, it was pretty good quality. I, I also took the batteries back out. But overall, this is a very comprehensive um, emergency kit. And I, you know, I think they're both great. We're going to keep both of them. Uh, put one of in each of our cars. We're going to have our daughter will be driving soon and it gives me some comfort knowing that there are some basic items in case she needs them and um, they're in the car. So definitely take a peek at those. I will link both of them. I'll link all items, but I'll link both of these for you to uh, check out and see if one of these is right for your vehicle so that you have this type of safety gear on hand as well. I hope you found some of these car organization items helpful and handy. It is great to be organized in your car. You don't want your drink falling over. You don't want to have to be searching for something, um, you know, or somewhere to put your trash. Gosh, the, the, the doggy bags are so great for trash and, you know, the little lens cleaners, a place to put your phone. They're so, it's so nice to be organized inside your vehicle. So definitely take a peek at those. Let me know if you have any questions and I look forward to seeing you next time. Please subscribe.